This CV90 has a fully stabilized turret with the latest version of the world-famous Bofors 40mm L70 gun. The Swedish CV90 family consists of five variants, each specially designed for various tasks on the battlefield. This is the CV9040. Its two-man turret includes the separate lemur commander's sight, providing this vehicle full hunter-killer capacity. The killing power of the CV9040 is shown in a number of firings against various types of targets. First, two minibus targets engaged from a moving combat vehicle using high explosive tracer rounds in four round salvos. Mission completed. The 40 mm APF SDST projectile is a fin stabilized tungsten penetrator developed by Bofors to defeat all AFVs and to penetrate the side armor of MBTs. This round is in series production for the Swedish Army's CV-90 program. The high effect of the 40mm APFSDST projectile is shown in firings against two different armor plate targets. Armor target number two. Target one for the APF SDST. Total penetration by both projectiles. This freeze frame clearly shows the devastating effects of fragments and armor spalls. Target 2, a modified NATO heavy triple setup, was also penetrated by the 40mm APF SDST projectiles. The next firing is from a moving combat vehicle with the 40mm TPDST round against two 40mm armor plates. The TPDST is a practice round with a steel penetrator. The Bofors 40mm 3P programmable all-target round represents the latest advances in ammunition technology. At the moment of firing, its smart multifunction fuse can be programmed to any of six function modes for maximum performance in every combat situation. The prefragmented shell body carries 1,100 deep penetrating tungsten pellets. On detonation, a deadly cloud of 2,500 fragments and pellets is formed, engulfing the target. The three P targets in this part of the demonstration are a helicopter at a firing range of 1,000 meters, soldier dummies in the form of 12 plastic barrels and paper figures representing an infantry unit in prone position behind a small ridge, 
a reinforced 150 millimeter concrete wall with three witness plates at the rear forming a small room and finally another troop target an ATGW squad first the helicopter target a four round salvo from a CV 9040 vehicle with the three P shells programmed for gated proximity function that means the fuse is opened and not fully active until just before and after the predicted intercept point. This helicopter is defeated by the three P's fragments and tungsten pellets. Now, the infantry squad behind the ridge. The three P rounds are programmed for time function with controlled dispersion. That way, the bursts will be staggered, covering the complete target area. The cloud of fragments and pellets engulfing the target can be clearly seen in this replay. The paper soldiers were hit. And 10 of the 12 barrels showed multiple hits. The reinforced 150 millimeter concrete wall. The 3P rounds are now programmed for armor piercing function to detonate behind the wall and inside the room. The result? Severe damage to the witness plates and to anyone hiding inside the room. Finally, a salvo of 3P rounds from a moving vehicle against the ATGW squad target. Time function without dispersion. ATGW squad is defeated. This part of the demonstration verified that the CV-9040, with its unique, highly effective Bofors 40mm ammunition, is the most advanced system available today. <laughs>